Well, the Daily Mail now has a story that includes religion and being inclusive. So that's the blue touch paper lit. Let's see how angry Nick gets. Well, yes, it is very annoying. And it is hot in here, so I'm going to get even more angry. So furious church changed lyrics of God rest ye merry gentlemen to be more inclusive. And the original says, God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Saviour was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Very solid Christian lyrics, but they've been changed. The second verse has been changed to, God rest you also women who by men have been erased through history ignored and scorned, defiled and displaced. Uh, dodgy rhyme. And the third verse, God, by the way, and it's not even true, it's a, this is myth that the whole of history has just been this patriarchal, endless it's, patriarchal oppression yeah, where women didn't yeah. exist, isn't it? And then the third verse, God rest you, queer and questioning, your anxious hearts be still. And it's including queer and questioning people. And I question this, so I think I'm, I've become a questioning person over this story. But also, I guess the one demographic missed out is gentlemen who aren't merry. So I think you've missed out twice there, Nick. Yes, you're right. Unmerry gentlemen who are furious at all these stories I have to cover. This is the Holy, Holy Trinity in Loughborough. Let's name and shave Leicestershire. And the person doing this has, has backed this whole thing, Rachel Bryn Search, but other people... Sam Margrave, member of Church General Synod, saying, absolutely disgusting, an act of worship to our Lord and Saviour is being used to push political ideology contrary to Church of England teaching. Correct. And Matthew, Reverend Matthew Firth says that it's a an woke, unbiblical agenda. And that is also accurate. Do you think this is going to help get more people into the church? Do you think it's making it... Because I, mean, I find people. it infuriating, but do you want more I've, friends at church? No, it's a disaster. This is why the church has fallen apart. It's why people don't take it seriously. They're losing numbers. The ones that get the numbers, the ones that are thriving, are like Latin... Catholic masses where no one understands what's going on. It's all incredibly serious. And they're the ones that are doing well because no one wants this watered down work. So you can get it in the rest of the culture. You don't need it in the church. It's not what church is What for. is Latin for LGBTQ? In fact, in, in Latin, <laughs> that's probably a number. I went to comprehensive schools, Steve, so I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what Latin is.